welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium. I will be doing 60 minutes of Q&A. Your questions, spirits, answers. Here we go. So first and foremost, before we get started, please do not get scammed. I will never reach out to anybody and tell you to get anything from me. Um, my, you book a session through my website. That is the only way to connect with me other than my business number. I also do not do text or email reading. So if they're trying to do that, that should be a huge red, red flag like to let you know it's not me. Uh, if you'd like to call in with a question, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. And you can also uh, connect with a loved one. Uh, please have a question ready and I'll be happy to answer it. Um, before we get into the Q&A end of it, I have some messages. Is this channeling? No, not yet. Messages. Okay, I have some messages. I don't, I don't know. This is, you guys think I run my own show. That's so cute. I really don't. Um, Okay, so there's a message for or from a Juan. And not only are they saying the name, they're showing me the name. Like Juan, like J-U-A-N. Juan, um, you were a good friend. I, I love you. Um, amigo. I love you, amigo. Don't... Uh, don't don't feel badly don't feel badly you are a good friend uh, res respecto respecto i i i know you're um, suffering but no more suffering no more suffering okay that is the message um well there is a first for everything and there is that Okay, there is that. Um, I'm going to go into names. This could be your name, their name, the name of a loved one, a pet, I, a pet, uh, a pet's name or a pet name. The first name that I'm getting is Bob or Bobby. The next name is Tia. The next name is. Uh, Okay, the next name is uh, Champ. The next name is uh, Lucinda. The next name is Jason. The next name is Maria. The next name is... It's so funny. Why did they do that with an accent? <laughs> like from the Santana song, Maria. No, that doesn't even have like a little Maria. It's like Maria. But no, they said Maria. <laughs> Man, I could entertain myself for hours just saying names. Okay. Um, Ramish is the next name. Laura or Lorelai. The next name is uh, Nancy. The next name is Joy, Joyce, Joy and Joyce. Okay, that's it for names. I'm going to go straight into songs. This could be a song that answers a question that you've been that you have, or it um, is a song you know they loved, you love, you listen to it. the song. If the song has meaning for you, it's for you. The first song they're singing is "I Can't Stand the Rain," and yes, we all know I can't see. So don't feel the need to tell me. Everybody knows who has heard me. Um, the first song is I Can't Stand the Rain. I, I, oh, who sings that? You guys, who sings that? I can't stand on my window. Something like that. I think that's how it's how the song goes. Okay, the next song, moving right along now. Oh, Jesus, are you kidding me? How much is that? Doggy in the window. Urf, urf. <laughs> oh my Lord. Oh Jesus. By the way, 
are you guys? I kind of channel the song, so sometimes things come on. I'm like, are you kidding me? Did you just do that? Oh my gosh. Uh, that song, How Much Is That Doggy? In the Window. <laughs> roof, roof. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping in line with that, the next song is What's Up, Pussycat? <laughs> I, I don't even know the I don't really know these songs, so there we go. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, okay. The next song is Oh my gosh, I have not laughed this much in a minute. Okay. Okay, the next. <laughs> I'm going to be doing the roof roof all through, all through, all through. Okay, the next song is, um, a, uh, the ne okay, I need to focus a little bit, I'm sorry. <sighs> Go tell it on the mountain. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and see, I'm, Again, channeling. The next song is um, uh, I can't. I need more than that. You need to come through a little stronger. Okay, they're just showing me clouds and the sun breaking through. Okay, they're showing me that. Um, and the next song is. Margaritaville. I don't know the words, but they started singing it and then they said Margaritaville. And then I just, I'm saying Margaritaville. Those are the songs, everybody. I'm going to stop there because I could not keep my composure. So I'm super sorry about that. Um, do you guys want me to channel today? If you want me to channel, put a yes. The first person who puts, if somebody puts a yes in there, I will channel. You know, one thing I want to say, you guys, um, I do want to say that, and I've said this before, okay, uh, I have a yes, and that was quick. If you cannot find a job, make a job. I'm going to tell you, I, and I'm going to channel this. Here we go. See, before even the yes, they started saying, you're not getting out of it. You're not getting out of it. Do da, do da. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to start saying what I was saying, and I know it's going to go into channeling, so just bear with it. If you can't find a job, make a job. You were not put here to be at somebody else's behest. You are a creator from the creator. If you have an idea, if you have a thought, if you've seen an idea that you can say, oh, I could do that, or oh, I could do that, but I would do it this way do it. If you see, for example, a uh, a food truck and you decide you don't want a food truck, you want a uh, alcohol truck or a uh, um, um, beverage or a different type of food or whatever it is, it is time for you to move. But even beyond that, if you make furniture, if you can make anything, anything you can create, it is time for you to make that move and get into that driver's seat and do what your heart is yearning for. You may ask, how can I do this? Maybe you are feeling like you do not have the funds. Uh, there are many available funds if you go th through or to the right channels. And there are people who will assist you in finding these funds and you will be able to start these mm, businesses. There are many businesses and uh, many opportunities for new businesses, new ideas for businesses, many things that you could do. And you need to start now with your creating and creations. Even if you are in a position with a company and you have the idea for a creation, please 
It is time now to put that idea into effect. Okay, you guys, um, I was hearing so many things while I was channeling to say, and I'm just going to blurb them all out now because there are ideas for businesses that you would have never thought were business ideas that, that you would say, hey, no way. Do you know there's a whole company to hire bridesmaids for people at a wedding? And th that's a whole business. You could start a business like that, or you could just be a bridesmaid for hire. Did you know there's a whole, there's this guy, and I'm going to laugh, and I'm sorry because it's such a sensitive subject. And we all know when I get nervous, I inappropriately laugh. Just what I do, it's okay. I like who I am. I'm going to keep doing it. So there's a, this guy who shows up at funerals. He meets with the person who's passing, and he, the person who's passing tells him everything he wants the guy to say at his funeral, and it's not always nice stuff. But that's a whole business. I have a brother that would be so good at that. He could show up and be like, and you, he said you were nothing but a jerk to him. I could not do that. But this guy does that. And that's, that's his business. I mean, that's his whole business. You don't need to set up a brick and mortar any longer. People need people and you can start a whole business. Um, late last year, I said this whole doing things in, in home, uh, going to people's home and doing their nail, their hairs, their eyes, whole business whole business, going to their business and doing it, take, going to their home and taking care of their pets. Um, I have a friend in California and she wants to get her dog groomed. She wants someone to come and groom her dog. There's like a six week or yeah, I think a six week waiting list with the person who used to do it. Now there's opportunity there. If, if there's a six week waiting list, how many people are getting their dogs groomed in home? There are so many different ideas. You don't have to have, a, and, and there are grant finders, people who make their living finding grants for people, and they can find you grants to start your, your business if you so need that. Okay, having said that, we are going to go to questions. Now I'm going to go between the call log and the questions on the YouTube chat. So uh, be patient. I'm going to get to as many people as I possibly can. And we will we will get get it going. Um, please have an exact question ready for me. And I will be happy to, to answer that question. If you want to connect with a loved one, I need their first name and their relationship to you. And I will be happy to connect you to them. And somebody named Dwayne, 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 like D-U-A-N-E or D-U-W-A-Y-N-E, I Dwayne, Dwayne or Dwayne, somebody named Dwayne is like in my ear. They're here. Dwayne, here we go. 509, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi there, my name is Eric and I'm calling from Washington State. How can I help you today, love? Um, I just have a question. I, I very much enjoyed your <laughs> your uh, motivation <laughs> of, you know, make a business if you don't want to be an employee anymore. So thank you for that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and um, yeah. my question, mm -hmm. uh -huh. go ahead, love. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was going to ask, um, I have a coworker, um, who I sometimes see and I'm, something happened, um, last week and I'm just so embarrassed, uh, very, very embarrassed. I just wanted to know, um, what you pick up as being his perspective of me. Like I just. I don't know if he thinks I'm rude or, you know, um, 
yeah. <laughs> I'm just super embarrassed to go back. Um, you know. Well, first, that don't work, be. Work don't, just don't be. Don't be embarrassed. Um, I'm. I don't know. Obviously, I don't know what happened. I'm not trying to look at what happened. Never be embarrassed. Everything mm -hmm. is. Go ahead, love. I'm sorry. Oh no, no. I was. I was agreeing with you. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to say this. Um, the way I can best put this is, you know. <laughs> in five years, no one will remember is what I'm hearing. Uh, what I'm going to do now, can I just get the first initial of this person, the first initial of their first name so that I can, J? Mm -hmm. Okay. He, you know, I feel like Jay finds it kind of humorous, a little funny and, um, and really doesn't it doesn't think any different. I I want to say doesn't feel any differently. Doesn't feel any differently. Um, doesn't feel um, how what's it maybe differently isn't the word, but like kind of like stuff happens is what I'm getting. Uh, well, stuff happens is what I'm getting. Okay. Um, so that is what I'm, I'm getting, if you, it, is this going to change? It isn't going to change the dynamics of what the, the relationship that you have. Okay. I hope that makes sense. Uh, okay. Does that make sense to you? Uh-huh. Excellent. Perfect. Yeah, because it's a professional one and, and it just, you know, <laughs> I'm super embarrassed. Yeah, but you know um, what? when you were getting the message, go ahead, love, mm -hmm. go ahead. I was going to say, when you were getting the messages earlier, you said the name and I was like, oh my God, is that, is that for me? <laughs> you said the name. I was so shocked. I was so like, very, I, wow. <laughs> it, You're amazing. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. It could be. You it, said Juan. And you know what? Here's what I'm going to say to you is that this is, you know, everybody, there is no person that has not done something that they have felt might have been embarrassing, okay? So from that end, there should be compassion, just understanding, if not even compassion, like everybody has embarrassed themselves in some way or another at some point or another. And so just from that, like, I'm sure whatever you're thinking, it's not as bad as you think. Okay, love? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Excellent. Thank you so I much for calling, that. love. <laughs> Thank you so much. I hope you have an amazing night. You too. Thank you. You are welcome. And even though I'm putting you on mute right now, I just want to say, when you go back, don't make a big deal out of it. Um, don't bring it up unless it's brought up. Just kind of let it slide. Unless an apology is owed, then say, hey, but don't make a big deal about it. Women tend to gush or like over talk about things that we we want to over explain they're saying just let it go let it go okay stephanie had asked me earlier her and a friend are planning a trip this weekend a bit of a jaunt if you will and um there's something local is it going to be is it going to be i think she used the word good i have to go up a little bit more this weekend uh would you be able to tell me how it will go it's going to be good that's i i'm using the word good it's going to be go, good make sure you track for the one thing i'm hearing is make sure you're making plans for weather so if you're planning out outdoorsy things and the weather turns a little bit um to 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 make sure you have other things planned and the, it will be fine i do feel like um, 
be, um, I don't know why I'm hearing this. If it makes sense to you, just comment. It makes sense. Just be a little bit passive, go with the flow, allow things to unfold and um, maybe don't fill every moment. I'm sure you, whatever that means, whatever that means, just have fun with it, okay? Okay, I'm gonna go to the next caller who is 925, 925. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Jody. This is Teresa. I'm calling from Oregon. Hey, Teresa. How can I help you today? I have a coworker that is like, she's got to be miserable. And she's been appointed ahead of our department. And it's just really difficult to work with her. She's always trying to make like, you're lazy or you're not doing anything or... <laughs> I want to retire and um, I want to retire in September and I'm hoping that I can last that long. Okay. First, I need to ask you, does she use those exact words or are those words that you kind of, you're thinking she's thinking that or insinuating that? She implies it. She implies. And she not only does it. Yeah, she not only does it with me, she does it with another coworker that I have. And we both are just like really getting tired of it. Okay. Um, you know, it, it, there's a reason I work for myself. And this is the reason because I'd be recording that. I'd be recording that all day long. I, I would be recording that, but that's me. I don't suggest you do that because you want to last until September. Um, are you going to last? The question is, are you going to last until September? Yes, you are. And your dogs don't like that okay. answer. They're like, no, we want you home now. Um, you are going to last until September. I mean, you have free will. You can do what you want, but you have. You also do have the ability to last until September. I, you know, they're saying you have to find the humor in it to be able to last in a more productive and less cynical way. And that if you can uh, allow yourself to have some sort of grace for her, because people behave sometimes the way they're treated. They're not saying feel sorry for her, but just, you know, kind of understand she, where she, she, yes. She's treated quite nicely. In fact, wait, she's, there have been wait. people that have quit because of her. She's tr treated nicely, maybe at work. Maybe at work she's treated nicely. People often reflect, and maybe maybe I'm off, and if I am, I apologize. Sometimes people, re the way they treat people is the way they were treated either as a child or in their family dynamic at home. That's not our problem, and it doesn't mean we should have to put up with it. If you just have a goal until September, you can make that goal and maybe the reason they're bringing this up to you is because it will be easier to make that goal of September as long as you have this perspective. Now, what I will also say is you can retire a little bit early if you choose to. It's, it's up to you how you handle it. But if you choose to retire early, make sure that's something that you're doing for you you might regret not, you know, pushing through to those final months. I do feel like in July and August, you're going to be really uh, ready to tell her about it, but wait until September and just record things and then walk in and give it to whoever you need to give it to when you walk out. Um, that's what I'm well, hearing. I actually work from home. I'm not in the same office. Okay. I, I work from home 
and I'm in a different state than, than they are. But like she sent it just flippantly sent off an email to my boss today. Like it, that was just really unnecessary. Like she was spending all this time on something that I was handling, but she just jumped in there and started sending email after email after email. And she sent an email to my boss saying, you know, I've spent all day on this and you should be taking care of it. <laughs> okay. So here's, here's again, if you're not directly there and here's something that I often say to people when they're in a situation with a boss that they might not love and the boss may be doing very questionable sorts of things. Every time you do work initial and or sign your work to prove you've been doing it, and also carbon copy everything to the boss also. If she's sending you or talking to you on the phone in a way, there are apps you can get that record your phone calls. There, there really are. There are apps you can download right onto your phone that record your phone, phone calls. And that would be my suggestion for you. But your real question was, will you make it till September? As of this moment, yes, of course you have free will and you can change that. I do feel like in July and August, you're going to be having a very nonchalant attitude about the job. 760, you are going to be next, but I'm going to take a question from the chat. Um, uh, la 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 la. Here's a question. You guys, it takes me a moment to read these, so please be patient with me. Hi, Tony. I had asked you a while ago if you, if our lawsuit would work in our favor. I almost said flavor. Whoo. Favor. I'm I'm not drunk. I don't drink anymore. <laughs> I'm not drunk. <laughs> I know it would it would be easy to think that, but it's not true. Um, you saw that it would. They called the trial due to one flaw. Our lawyer is trying to appeal it. Will that happen? Is it going to get an appeal? I'm getting a yes on that. It is going to get an appeal. And again, I, you know, the, obviously the obvious thing I'm going to say is make sure all of your paperwork is in order. Make sure that you have everything lined up. You might have to change the way you file. If you, if you keep, it's going to, okay, here's what I'm going to tell you. It's going to end up back in court. Okay. It is going to end up back in court. If if it doesn't appeal, you have to refile under a different thing, but it is going to end up back in court, love. That is what I am getting for you. Seven six seven six zero. what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Jeanette and I'm calling from uh, Los Angeles. Hey, Jeanette, how can I help you today? You know what, I am uh, really curious, I'm in a connection, and I was wondering if you could pick up on where this might be headed. Okay, can I have, if it's okay with you, the first name of the other person, just to kind of slide into that Sammy. energy? I'm sorry. I, <laughs> we keep talking at the same time. I'm sorry. Go ahead again. Sammy. Okay, so I'm going to ask this the same way you asked, and then I'm going to ask it in another way. Sure. Okay. Um, Jeanette, I'm going to tell you, I feel like you're going to meet somebody else soon. I want to start there. Um, I feel like the relationship you're in, um, I don't know why, but they just keep saying it's, it's, 
the way they're saying it is um it's not going where you want it to go it's not going to go where you want it to go so you can make the choice of if you're okay with that or if you want to kind of look at something or someone new or different or you know move in a different direction i well i definitely i don't like the first choice <laughs> i know i'm and i'm really sorry it's not always easy giving that answer but here's what i will say to you i i like in a relationship if i'm in a relationship i want to know where it is or is not going so i have the ability to make the choice to either be like okay i'm okay with this with this person or i'm not i'm this just isn't what i'm looking for in this moment um mm -hmm. and right. move on if that's if i can't handle the terms of their whatever or whatever it is um knowledge is power and it's your power now because it allows you to look at the relationship in a very unemotional and realistic way and make a choice that's in your best good so that you don't invest more than you longer than or you know so what i would say to you at this point is you have you have the the ability to make this decision i will also say if you choose to you know kind of go in a direction where you can get what you want there will be somebody else in june that you have the possibility of meeting um now if you mm stay where you are that probably will not be the case i think and i know i don't like to say this i i really don't like to say it but what i'm going to say i'm gonna put some parameters on it i feel like there's an influence the other person involved there's an influence in their life that may not allow this relationship to be anything other than what it is now an influence let's be clear can be a mother can be a sister can be a buddy and yes it can also be another another lover lover um but i'm not saying that's what it is what i am saying is there is an influence and an influence can be like being influenced by a past situation that happened. Whatever this influence is, is going uh -huh. to keep this person, keep this relationship right where it is. That's what I'm going to say to you. Um, knowing this, and you can, you know, try to have a conversation with this, about this, with this person. I feel like this person might be very vague or not be as either transparent or give you as much information as you would like about the situation but in the end it's up to you to just use what you know and what you feel and move in the direction that's best for you before you invest any more into the situation okay mm -hmm. Now, having said that, any any idea? Yeah. Go, okay, any sorry. idea about what? Uh, any idea of uh, maybe the person that I there's a possibility of meeting, or you know, like where? You know, I you know, here's what I'm gonna say: live your life, and the person when you're supposed to meet somebody, uh, live your life. Be out and about. Be open to. It's not on a dating site or an app. It is organically so be out and about especially in june mm -hmm. and in not may but june and into july 
especially. Um, I do feel like it is going to happen in June, not July. But mm -hmm. I do feel like when you are out and about, wherever you get invited, go. And whenever you are out and about, be looking around. If you go out with friends, don't go out with a big group, maybe one or two. So it's not as intimidating to walk up to or be um, to, 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 to talk to somebody or have somebody come up and talk. But, you know, be out and about. Definitely be out and about and enjoy your time out and about. And if you have more questions about that, I'll be happy to do a private session for you on that. I try to limit it to the one exact question because there are a lot of people that are calling in and have questions um, in the chat also. And I just try to be fair to everybody. And I don't like to, um, I don't want to, um, you know, so yeah, that's that. Uh, so, okay, so I'm gonna go to the next, uh, Tanya, is it Tanya? Yep, Tanya wants to know, can you connect to my dad, Bill? Yes. So I'm gonna connect, uh, give me a second. Yeah, he is uh, singing this song that I don't know. It's a, like a really old song though. So, um, in it, this very deep voice, it's a very, the singer had a deep voice. So that's where we're starting. The next thing that, uh, Bill would want to say to you, Tanya is, um, the, uh, this is the next song that's coming in. Um, don't give up on us, baby. We can still come through or come true. I don't, I'm not sure of the words, but he's, but it's not the don't give up on us. He's saying, don't give up on whatever it is you are um, involved in or working on. Don't give up. Um, and also you're going to have a breakthrough this month, the month of we're in the month of this. You're going to have a, a breakthrough and that's going to come in sooner than later. And it may, whatever is going on, if the breakthrough is going to come through sooner than later. So for example, if this is something you're in a relationship or financial or work, there's something that's going to come through that's going to help. So don't give up quite yet because there's about to be a breakthrough. And if those are two different subjects, uh, don't give up on whatever it is you're very frustrated or feeling like you just need to let it go or give up on. And then you're going to have a breakthrough very soon. And I feel like the breakthrough, it's going to be in this month, not within a month, but within this month of April. When I'm channeling, I, I don't always have, okay, anyway. Um, it's going to be in this month and it, it may even come as soon as a day or two, but just be patient because everything is about to um, turn around and it's going to, it's just going to work out to your benefit. So stay strong. Okay, Tanya, I really hope that was helpful for you. I hope that it made, and even more so, I hope it made sense for you. Okay, I'm going to go to 509, 509. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Mindy and I'm from Washington. How are you, Tony? I'm good, Mindy. How can I help you today? Um, so I've got a question. I've got a court date coming up here on the 29th, and I'm wondering what the outcome of that is going to be, if I'm, if, what's going to happen with all of that. Uh, give me a second, Mindy. Um, I'm asking in like four different ways to try to get a different answer. Um, Mindy, can I ask, 
I, I think I kind of have an idea. Can I ask what this is regarding? It's for an eviction. Okay. So I'm, I'm really sorry, Mindy. I asked, is this going to go the way you want it to? I get a no. I ask, is it going to, uh, are you going to get the outcome you want? I get a no. What I am going to tell you is do everything you can to start making plans now. So in your state, I don't know how evictions work. Typically, once the order goes through, you have so many days to get up and get out. They're not going to let you stay and they're not going to give you much more time, if any, get things moving now. The Even if you live in a good state, I feel like you can plead your case. It's just not going to go completely how you want it to go. So you have to really try to start making plans now to be ahead of ahead of it okay okay i i know that's not what you want to hear but i know that's what you need to hear and i know they want you to take every available resource and get things in place now for your next situation, okay? Okay. Okay, Mindy, we're all gonna say a little prayer for you and hope that everything turns out good for you, okay, love? Thank you so much, Tony. You are so very welcome. You have an amazing and blessed rest of the night, love. It is, you know, um, there, Mindy, there are also a lot of um, agencies that, and I know you've probably reached out to a couple of them, but if you, here is one thing, someone I know did this once or twice or five times. They would be looking for a place and they would um, say, hey, uh, will you accept Section 8 housing, even if it wasn't advertised a Section 8 housing situation or a rent assistance housing situation? And many of the times the landlord would say yes. And then that was a way for that person to get on Section 8. That's how they got on Section 8 housing. They found a landlord that would do it and then together they went on you know rent assistance and then so that's one one way of getting assistance when it may feel like there may not be um help and you really need help there's also emergency um there's also funds for emergency assistance for rent for people in your situation. So in your state, whatever state and city you're in, go online, look that up, show up at the office. Don't do it online and be put at the bottom of a pile. Show up at the office with the papers you need. If they can't help you where you are, ask them to get you in some place and start looking and see if somebody can help you or is willing to work with you with those systems. Okay, I'm going to go to the next question on the YouTube chat. Okay, everybody, I go live every Monday at noon central, every Wednesday at 7 p.m. central. You can call in with your questions. The call in number is 845-277-9131, or you can join and watch in live on YouTube and I will answer your questions there. Okay, Leo, I forget, I missed the first part of that question. Well, where will the connection with the Capricorn go from here? And then first initial S, I think your name is Leo, Leo Moon Goddess. Okay, Leo Moon Goddess, where is the connection with the Capricorn going? Okay, for some reason, um, 
And if you watch me at all at any time, uh, you know, I can get answers pretty well. Let your guard down, Leo Moon Goddess. <laughs> let your guard down. You can put it back up when I'm done, but you need to let it down now. Um, okay. Where is this going? You know, the, the first thing I hear is wherever you want it to go. That's exactly the words they're saying to me. You are kind of manifesting this situation as you go. So make sure it's what you want, where you want, how you want, sort of is what I'm hearing, but it's going to go where you want it to go because you're kind of the one, I don't like to use the word in control, but you're the one that's going to make the choice or, and, or the decision and it's going to go where you want it to go depending upon what you want. So manifest carefully is what I'm hearing. And they say, you. they're saying, she knows what you're talking about. So that's what I have for you, beautiful. I hope that's, I hope that's helpful. I hope that was very helpful for you. Um, moving that up a little bit. <clears throat> and I'm going to the very next color, who is 475. 475, what's your name? And where are you calling from? Great, great evening, Miss um, Tony. My name is Savoya, and I'm calling from Stanford, Connecticut. Can oh. you hear me properly? Can you put your phone to your face, please, love, so it's not so, it sounds like you're very far away from your phone and it's difficult to understand. Okay. And Can you hear me better? That's a little better, yeah. What is your question for me today, love? Okay. My question for you today is, can you just read my energy and just tell me what spirit has. I do not have a specific because I'm everywhere all at once. <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to do for you, um, if your energy is a bit chaotic right now, the first thing for you and everybody listening, watching, joining in, if need be, we're going to clear your energy because there is some chaos, interference coming in. So we're going to clear that for you. And then for anybody else that feels like they need this, grab on. And if you want to come back and get your energy cleared, it's at about the 47 mark of the show, 47 minute mark of the show. Okay, the next thing I'm going to, ah, haha, we're going to clear your homes. We're clearing your homes. And that one right there, that's the one. That is it. Okay. As soon as that's gone, you're going to feel your energy become much stronger and you're going to not be so confused. Uh, all confusion. Yeah, let's clear that. And this is not only for you, for anybody listening uh, or watching and wants to come back and clear themselves or clear their home. This is this is the point of the show. You would just come back and do that. You can do it every day or whenever you feel you need it. It's almost gone. And there we go. Okay, I'm sorry. What was your first name, beautiful? Hello. What's your name again? Can you please tell me your first name again? Oh, I'm sorry. It's My okay. name is Soroya. Can you hear me? Yep, I can. Soroya. <laughs> okay. Soroya, right now the biggest message that I have for you is be strong. Don't waver. You know where you come from. Don't let anybody tell you any differently. Get rid of the mm. guilt. Get rid of guilt is the most useless, misused emotion. People will, ooh, guilt. Let's clear all guilt for everybody listening. Every, everybody, everybody, everybody. And let's get all that guilt gone. <laughs> you guys. That's I, my song. <laughs> Oh my God, I see spirit is here with you. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. I love when that happens. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Um, I also did a couple of really good 
clearings on TikTok. I will be sending them to Facebook and YouTube and everything, but you guys go get those if you can. If you want to wait till it's on Facebook or YouTube, that's fine, but they were good. Well, the first one was, um, if you always take the blame for everything, dudes, dudes. <laughs> okay. Um, the first, this, the next thing, let's clear all guilt, all that caused it, all that kept it. Why is there, it's a generational thing for the women in your family to take on the guilt and um, of whatever happened. So we're going to pull this out generationally. Forward, backward, side to side, take it all from every, throughout the whole ancestral line. And man, I feel that in my left shoulder being pulled out for you. You guys, when I do clearings for you guys, I do feel it. So you'll notice on the TikToks or wherever I'm doing clearings, you know, right now my voice is so strained and I'm feeling it being pulled out of the back of my neck and my shoulder. And that's because I'm clearing with you. So if I make funny faces or like this, that's, it's just taking it. The next thing I'm getting, and we're going to do this for future, just pulling it off, wherever this started, just pulling it now. And then the next thing I'm getting is um, get up, stand up, stand up for your rights. Hey. Amen. <laughs> oh, the, so what I'm getting hey. from that is um, the okay that you already know what that means. Huh. Hey. The next thing My that is actually from that island. So it's funny you said that. <laughs> it's it's, it's the generational. Yeah, it's just funny. Anyway, continue. <laughs> no, it's so good. Those are confirmations for you. Those are solid mm, mother loving confirmations for you. So the next thing that they are saying that there's something you've been thinking about, whether it is a is something you would just do for friends and family or something you would do for, for make money on it, make money on it, make money, put money on it. Just, just like, put the, I, I don't know why I hit the top of my hand, but uh, they want me to, to like on the palm of my hand, put money on that, put money on that. Like, so if you're doing, if you're doing this thing that you do put money on it, like I'll, I'm happy to do it for you, but put money on that. Um, Put, put money on that. So whatever it is, they just keep saying, put money on that. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So whatever this thing is, whether it's something you're thinking about starting or something you've been doing, just let people put money on it, put money on it and, and, and run it. They're saying, and run it and run it. And, and it's like a, it's, I, I'm going to try to get the dialect. Here we go. I'm going to try to get the dialect correct. And they're saying, and you need to run this. You need to, you just need to run it. And I know that I'm probably not saying this in the best way possible, but you need to get on this. You need to put money on it. You need to run it. You need to go now. You need to do this now. Okay. That's all I can handle of that one. Mm, this is, and that was a, funny that was a male. Mm. I'm going to tell you that was a male who was tall, taller, slender, and in very um, different type of clothing, not clothing that we would wear here in America and in your, in your lineage, in your lineage. So that is what I have for that love. <sighs> okay, there, there's all wow. of that for you. <laughs> I have the chills from head to toe. I thank you. <laughs> wow. And you know what? <clears throat> it's funny because my cousin, his birthday is coming up in the next, call it six days, but he transitioned. <clears throat> and I was thinking about him heavily. Oh. So, and, you know, I start, well, actually, I was gifted a life essential service company. And I'm a, I just wanted to know if that energy needed to be there into it. Yes. But now I, that you said put money onto it, that there it is. I hear yes. <clears throat> I hear yes. 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 Put money on it. Um, mm. Whatever else, you can come back and listen to this again. And what they said because well, what thank you god bless you oh you are so welcome mm -mm. and i'm so grateful i'm so you know what you guys i'm gonna say this i am so grateful i am blessed to be a blessing 
I I will say yeah, a million times are. over, mm -hmm. I am blessed. I I am so grateful to be able to bring this to you guys and help you, and it, with it is such a blessing to be able to. I try so hard to say I don't take credit. I don't take credit for my books. I don't take credit for the the messages because they choose me. They chose to do this mm -hmm. this way, and I'm grateful and. Just that's what, so thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Okay, thank sweetie. You. God bless you. And then I'm hearing get on mm -hmm. it. Get on it. Get on it. Because you're going to put mm. a sauce on it. You're going to put a sauce on it. I don't even know. You're going to, okay, I'm sorry. Let me get it together. Let me get it together. Here he comes again. Here he comes again. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. We thought we were done, but we are not done. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. They are going to put a sauce on this. Uh, or, you mm -hmm. are going to put your own sauce on this, your own spin on this, your own mm -hmm. mm, your mm on this, and it is going to make it uh, bigger and better and spe spectacular. Okay, love? Mm. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. God okay. bless. I surrender. <laughs> you are so welcome. And do it, do it, do it. Okay, love? Yes, ma'am. Thank mm -hmm. you for calling. Thank you, Ms. Tony. You are so welcome. You have an amazing mm -hmm. night, love. And thank you so much for calling in. Thank you, thank you. You guys, I cannot even tell you how much, ma'am, ma'am, <laughs> I love what I do. And I do what I love. <laughs> okay. Uh, Hi, Tony. There is a job position that fits my experience. Should I apply for it? Yes. Always. Always. Um, I, you know what I say, if there's something that fits your experience, apply, see what they're offering. It doesn't mean you have to go any place. It doesn't mean you have to make it at least apply. Know you are wanted someplace else. Second, if you get it, do the comparison. Um, if if they're if they're giving you more money, more benefits, better work environment, whatever it is, and you want to take it, take it. But don't worry about if you're going to get it. Just apply for the experience. Just apply for the experience. Put your energy out there. It does not hurt to apply. So, Catherine, apply definitely. Okay. It is, uh, we have two minutes left. So I just want to tell everybody, thank you so much for being here. I'm not going to hang up quite yet. Not quite yet. I'm going to look, I'm going to see if I can get one more question in. I need a, uh, uh, thank you. Thank you, MK Karen. Thank 90 you. Seconds. Uh, no. Okay. I was going to see if I could get one more quick question in. Um, Oh, it, you know what? Excellent, Heather. So awesome, Heather. Um, here's what I'm going to say, everybody. I will be back for sure Monday at noon. But um, if you want to know if I'm going to, if I pop up any place, just hit the button you need to hit to know when I come back. I'm going to try. I don't seconds. always, um, I get pretty booked up on the weekends with um, sessions and such such but if i can i do come back i want to thank you all for being here so much i i love you guys so stinking much thank you so much i will see you all very soon until then make miracles in your life